Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Rocket Slime! So, I know last episode might have been a bit boring since we just went back to the old Forward Forest, and maybe some of you were like, Come on, go to the New World! Well, guess what? We're going to Mount Krakatrota this time. The New World? 18 slimes to save. This is a large world. Let's get started. We're gonna be here a while. So first off, we have creepy and yet at the same time rather sad and mysterious music playing. Different from other worlds. That lets you know this world is special. Right off the bat, we have new enemies. These are imps. These guys are pretty darn easy. So now we have a chest here, but there's nothing we can really do to get them out of there. But what we do have are these giant 1,000 ton weights. These are called, uh, appropriately, thousand weights. What we can do is, if these hit the ground, they will create an earthquake. Doing so will knock our slime buddy down. Oh, it's another rock slime! Quarry! It was ever so uncomfortable being stuck upside down like that. How did you manage to get me? You lifted something that heavy? Gahaha! <laughs> That's quite a feat! You must be some kind of super slime! You know it. You guys have fun. Oh yeah! Mail time, mail time, mail time, mail time! To think a young sphane like you saved me! I can hardly believe it! There are lots more of us in need of help! Keep up the good work, boy! Tons of fun for everyone! FUD! Out drops a thousand weight. Thousand weights are powerful pieces of ammo, but much like the iron balls, they're really slow. Alright. I really like this part of the psalm. It's really cool and really mysterious. It's Mag Max, the Road Rager. Ah, oh, the plum really made my blood boil. Shutting me up like in a box like that. Oh, hello, Rocket. Did you rescue the slime at the bottom of the stairs, too? If not, dropping something heavy nearby is worth a try. You'll see. <coughs> Alright, I regret giving him that voice. So we got another imp, we got boomerangs that are lying out, that's cool, and these crystals in the way. Elastoblast isn't having any effect. It looks like you can't break this right now. Remember those are there, though. We might be able to break them later on in the game. Anyhow, yeah, let's get Mag Max the Road Rager back to Slovenia. Ugh, no good plenty of fire. How dare they do this to us? My blood pressure goes sky high whenever I think about it. Oh, thank you for keeping that short, man. I appreciate that. Cool blimey! We got ourselves an Oaken Club! <laughs> Excellent. Ooh, yeah! These are a new uh, item. You find a Chimeroine. Throw it, and it'll fly back to town with whatever it sticks to. So, if we throw it on this Platy Punk. Instantly teleported back to town. Chimeroines are awesome. Oh, it's a little slime. Itsy. Psst. Have you tried using a thousand weight yet? Throwing one could cause quite a stir. These are our new enemies. These are Wordles. They are giant dragon turtles. Then shells, and wow, they lag the game, apparently. And unlike other enemies, Elastoblasting into them has no effect. What we can do, however, is once we... Once they charge up and get out of our way... You can actually knock them out with a fully charged Elastoblast. Also, if you, a fully charged Elastoblast takes out half their HP, so if you don't catch them on that first time, you're not catching them at all. Alternatively, a much easier way to deal with them is just throw Chimera wings on them. But Wordles are good, we're gonna wanna keep them around. This is the world that's gonna lag the game a bit, I believe. It does not lag on the regular old DS, though. Psst! It's Itsy! Thanks for saving me! This letter will self-destruct in three seconds. <laughs> Only joking. Oh yeah! Shine in battle with this shooting star. You shake out a shuriken. Shurikens are ninja stars. They're pretty good pieces of ammo. I am very happy that Itsy is secretly a ninja. Makes me very happy. You can take items back with Chimera wings as well. 
These mushrooms are going to last a blast to destroy them. No big deal. Hey, Wordle. As I said, Chimera Wings are the best way to take them out. Also, if, my, if this game's window keeps unclicking itself, locking up my controls, that's going to be annoying. Alright, there's another upside down slime chest. We're going to need another thousand weight to deal with it. Should be one up here, yep. Crack wall in the way, we're going to need a rock bomb to take care of that. We'll have to look around for one. Nope. Oh, it's another dragon slime. Dragory. Have you figured out how to beat a wordle? Try frozen, throwing a thousand weight nearby. That also works. You can you can full charge the last blast into them. You can chimeroin them, or you can throw a thousand weight at them. All three are effective. Man, that okay. This the game does not want to get that chest back to town. Hey, Dragory. Hey, that was a fantastic last blast you did back there. But there are still lots of us that need rescuing. I'll be cheering you on back in Boinburg. Go for it. Oh boy, Firewater. Well, I appreciate the fought, Dragory, but unfortunately, that's not really my jam. So, a lot of Wordles in this room. If you want to collect a lot of Wordles, this is a good room to go to. Can only carry a few things back. Yes, this is the slime I've been waiting for. The Jewel Slime Crystal Chronicler. <laughs> that's a Final Fantasy reference, in case you don't know. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Oh, it's you, Rocket! Fancy coming all the way out here to rescue me. I run the town museum, you know. Come and visit the next time you're back. Don't really know if Crystal Chronicler is a dude or a girl. It's already sunset at Mount Krakatrota. <laughs> I love the way the jewel slimes uh, spin around like that. Pull up the way, let's see Chronicler. The museum didn't suffer too much damage. I can open it again in no time. Everyone has a place in their heart for the arts. Do make sure to pay us a visit soon. Yes, make sure you do that. It's all coming back to you now, you bag of boomerang. Uh, thanks for that. I'm not a huge fan of boomerangs myself, but I will ta I will treasure it. This is also a different, uh, a new gimmick here. There's a pair of red bungees stretched across the cliff tops. Maybe you could elasto blast into them and bounce your way across. Yes, you can. If you do a diagonal elasto blast, you will bounce your way across just like that. Very fun. Also, they hold that pose. It's pretty funny. If you throw a Chimera Wayne at an enemy who's like, in a certain pose, they'll keep that pose. It's Picaro! The, f uh, the... Pixie. I'm sorry. I forgot his name. Ooh, it's the Flute Warrior! Haven't you come a long, long way? Ho-hum. I suppose that means fisticuffs. Yes, I do. I can beat you with a thousand tons on my head. But I won't. You'll have the heebie-jeebies when you see my brand new boomerangs. I don't care about boomerangs. It's the Cyclone! It'll blow your mind. Well, that's probably one of the least cre creepy clowns there is. Battle stations! Fire at will! Alright, that's all good. Pick a fight with Picaro at your apparel. Alright, I will. I will do just that. You go, Swatsy. My boomerangs can pick off all your fire. That leaves you in a bit of a pickle, huh? Arr, bad timing, ran into enemy fire. So yeah, he has boomerangs, which you can use to basically knock your ammo down. And shurikens, which pack a bit more of a punch. But his boomerangs can only knock down one piece of ammo each. So they're not that good, and they only deal free damage even if they do hit us. Oracle come, come to Papa. 
Huli is fast. I, I, didn't, I don't give him credit for that. I'll let Huli jump in before I throw stuff in. It appears that my partners are doing a pretty good job of shooting out ammo, so I'm going to implement my classic distract him strategy. Wow, Picaro, you stink. Hooey, thank you for tanking that ammo. I do appreciate that. That upper screen is really nice to see just what's coming. Hey, you. Oh, yes, our medicinal orb refilled our HP. Get out of here. Hooey's defeated. Doggone it, Hooey. Well, yeah. If we just stay in the tank and hit the enemies a whole bunch, they can't do anything. It's almost enough to make me feel bad. Almost. But I'm out to defeat their tanks, so... Hooey is resurrected, yes. When your characters die in the tank battles, they get resurrected pretty shortly afterwards. Okay, there goes their engine. This is one of the longer and more annoying tank engines to infiltrate. But no matter. They're gone. We won the fight! And we get a boomerang. And more important, we rescue the Angel Slime and Jello. Oh, Rocket's brave vanquisher of the Plob's tanks! I'm sure the goddess will commemorate your victories by placing signs on the minimap. <laughs> nice fourth wall breaking. My beautiful Cyclone! Oh no! Ah, uh, your Cyclone wasn't beautiful. Clowns aren't beautiful. Sorry, clowns. Unfortunately, fighting isn't something I can lend you a hand with. But I'll put all my energy into praying to the goddess for you instead. Well, thank you, Clarence. I appreciate that. A sprinkle a day keeps the zombies at bay. We happen upon some holy water. I like holy water. Alright. Shortcut. Not that we really need it. Didn't charge quite enough. That's fine. Also, it will almost be nighttime. When it is nighttime, ghosts appear. So that will be important to note. Dane Rocket! It's Goopid! Ooh, you're looking for the Great Crackpot. I believe he's in the cave far above here. There you go, Gertrude. As I said before, these guys are imps. They can basically charge up their forks, and they explode at you. Oh, it's Wacko Quacko! That's one big door, Psycho! What's the deal? I don't know, but something big's gonna be going down behind there, that's for sure. It's Psycho Platt and Guacko Quacko. Great names. So who's got the key to this place? It's that swivel guy. You know, the slime with the evil-looking tank. What's a slime doing with the key? We gotta get it off him. Okay, Wacko, whatever you say. Huh, okay, there's no rail cart that way. Is there a rail cart this way? It's been a while. No, there's not. Okay. Whoop, whoop. 
As soon as they hit the ground with that flaming fork of theirs, they blow up. Too dumb to live, the imps are. Oh, the wordle blocked my rock bomb. Hey, Wordle. Oh! That's something we haven't seen yet. Very occasionally, when enemies die, they will leave behind these question mark blocks, er, bags. Very important. I'll never dead end! This place is waiting in my head! But look, there's a clue about how to open the door. A clue? I ain't seeing no clue. Are you blind, wacko? Don't that statue say something to you? Quit asking questions and start giving me answers, wise guy. Yowzer, rocket! Where did you spring from, slime? <laughs> I'm amazed you can see me under all this stuff I'm carrying. We ain't playing fair, kiddo. We don't listen on in on your conversations. We ain't leaving us no choice. Or you ain't leaving us no choice. Run away! <laughs> hey, wait for me, wacko! <laughs> Very smart of them. Oh, there's a ghost. Yeah, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> he just hopped on all by himself. That's hilarious. Ooh, it's Bitsy, the tiny slime. Only my body's small, not my brain. I'm sure the statue's clue on it to how to open the door. You can use the R button to change the order of what you're carrying. Maybe that's it. Yes, I am well aware of that. You're like the third slime who's told me that. Thanks for rescuing me. Watch out for Slevel, won't you? That helmet of his weighs ten slime tons, so he must be really, really strong. It's ten slime tons. He's one slime. One obscenely obtrusive offensive object. We obtain an obelisk. Goopid. Seen choirs of angels. It's so nice to be back in town. I'll be praying for you in the church today. And seen in a few hymns too, of course. Hymns are the best! Not enough churches seen hymns anymore. A sprinkle a day keeps the zombies at bay. We get holy water. Thank you. Alright, we need an imp, then a rock bomb, then a thousand weight. But before we do that, we're missing some stuff over here in this area. Take that guy back. What's up here? We got a Wordle. And we got a slime here. Oh, it's another rock slime. Rocky. Real great name. It's super cool but to be out of there. I ain't no jailhouse rock. Did you know there's something more powerful than an Elastoblast here at Krakatroda? If you roll down a really big hill, you end up doing what they call a roller dash. Maybe that's how you get into those piggy banks. That'd sure get you all shook up. So what he's talking about is there's a piggy bank here. We cannot break it unless we do a roller dash. We can't do roller dashes in this visit to Mount Krakatroda. We have to come back later. Poor Wordle. It looks like they're in great pain when they're on top of you. Ooh, another slime. It's an- it was- it's Splatrick! Did you see that big door on your way here? Apparently it's the entrance to Crackpot's cave. I feel dizzy just thinking about it. Alright, well... Thankfully there's a convenient rail car. I just walked on top of that Platy Punk and he didn't wake up. I'm a pretty heavy sleeper, but not that heavy. Also, you can only attack the ghosts when they are not transparent. What the heck, cat? Oh, there we go. Don't know why he missed that first one. Are you lonesome out there, Rocket? I sure hope not. <laughs> I want you to have this. It's yours to keep. Don't go returning it to no sender now. Oh, level 2 arrow. The harder, faster way to sow disaster, you receive an iron arrow. Thank you. Dear Rocket, thanks very much for saving me. I was starting to see spots in front of my eyes after being cramped up in that chest. 
Have you heard of the museum, by the way? Apparently it's full of secrets. Oh, thank you, Splatrick, for your oaken club. Quite blimey, I do like my oaken clubs. Ow! That's rude. Here's the thing. The imps generally destroy themselves. Which is, while kind of funny, is also kind of annoying. We gotta backtrack for a thousand weight. There we go. Now we can open that way to the statue. Oh, I didn't let the rope down. I can do that later. It's not its not that important to let the rope down. Open the door. <laughs> I think that ghost just threw a complete temper tantrum. That was hilarious. Ooh, epic music. It's Swivel! <laughs> Flute Warrior, I've been waiting for you. If you want the key, you're gonna have to beat me first. Not that you stand much chance. Do you want to call the Schleeman tank and take on Swivel? Yes. I'm not as much of a pushover as the rest of the plob. Hope you didn't have any plans tonight, Flute Warrior, cause this is the end of the road. It's the Schleeman Tank, the hero rides again, versus the Schwarzman Tank, anti-hero of Slomenia. That's an interesting looking tank, and Swivel doesn't need any crew members, he is good enough all on his own. Battle stations! Fire at will! So, let's see how tough you are. So now we get to fight Swivel, and he gets his own, much more epic, tank battle music. Swivel by himself is very, very fast, and can pick up free fiends on his head, and he throws a lot of stuff out of his tank. He also has very good ammo. Much better ammo than what we have. Thankfully, he only has 200 HP. Sorry, Bulba. My bad. I love Swivel's battle music, it's so good. Actually, I just really like Swivel in general. He's a cool character. Oh, this... Oh, okay. You can see he's got that shield that he's used as ammo. The shield is a special piece of ammo. It deals next to no damage, and it is the slowest piece of ammo in the entire game, but it can knock down up to three of your pieces of ammo, so it's quite literally used as a shield. So we hit it with three pieces of ammo, and so it got knocked out of the sky. So again, he's got better ammo than we do, but we've got a full-on crew, and we're just better at doing our tank stuff than he is. I could implement the just harass him in his tank strategy, but that takes a lot of the fun out of this battle. Plus, we can recover our HP with our Medicinal Herb, that's really nice. 
Wait, how did Baron Blubba get shot out of the cannon? Swatsy, did you have something to do with that? Hooli's defeated. Hit the ammo too much. And it's nice having two pieces of aura Colcum. Swatsy, get out of my way, please. Oh, he got resurrected. A little too late. We've basically already won at this point. Swivel's tank looks really cool, though. It's basically like an evil version of the Schliemann tank. Oh, that's it. No one brings the Schwarzman tank to its knees. I always pictured Soul as a, having a quiet voice, but it suddenly re I suddenly realized that most of his dialogue ends in exclamation points. You've got guts coming into my tank. So his tank is interesting. There's actually a wall in between his the lower part of his tank and this part, and no ammo comes out of that bottom part. So it's a bit of a more of a detour than other tanks. At least all his barriers are in a row. <laughs> also, he's got crazy elastoblasts. Where he, like, does an elastoblast on us and then warps. Also, we can only pick him up for, like, half a second before we take damage. He's a skilled fighter, Swivel is. Goodbye, Swivel. Nice knowing you. I like his dark blue cover, and it, his helmet's really cool. And thank you for the steel broadsword. Very nice. Hmm. So your friends are helping you in battle now, huh? You catch on fast. Here, call it a prize if you want. You win this time. You received the Mount Krakatrota key. You're gonna regret this next time we meet. Make sure you're ready. Oh dear me, it wasn't like this in my day. Anyone there? I need a strong young lad to get me out of this chest. It's Flanpa! <laughs> wow. Thank you, lad. Good goddess, that key you've got there. That's the key to the old Mount Krakatrota ruins, isn't it? So you're hoping to meet the great crackpot, are you? I'll show you the way, then. Oh, thank you, Flanpa. You are very gracious. That key you've got should open this door. The plob might be through there, though, so you be careful now, lad. I can get back to town on my own. A slime my age knows how to look after himself. Good luck, lad. See you back in Boinberg. Thanks, Flanpa. You're a good guy. We could go in the ruins now, but we still have to do this puzzle over here first. But first, Flanpa sent us something. Thank you for saving an old stick like me, Rocket. Now make sure you don't do anything to displease the Great Crackpot, alright? Oh, Dan, Dane Flanpa! Heavy man, but don't let it drag you down. You're the proud new owner of an iron ball. Yeah, so if we go over this way, we got a little bungee jump puzzle. Take that wordle. Bring the boomerang back as well. Now for this part, this part's a bit more tricky. We're gonna do a full charge to last of west. All right, last part. That part's tricky. You gotta get the Elastoblast just right. You two Wordles are coming back to town.
Full charge blast is needed. What you want to do here is get right at the edge. And that still did not help us. I remember that puzzle being tricky, but I forgot just how tricky. Well, if we go down here, what are these two fins doing hidden in the corner? Send the girder back to town. Well, crack trout are you can farm for girders on this level. They're not amazing, but they get the job done. Let's get lowered down. That's gonna help us. It's Dummy, the baby slime. Dummy wants to fly home on a Chimera wing. Well, Dummy, I'll see what I can do. Oh wow, that wing went flying. Sorry, Dummy. <laughs> the Chimera wing had other ideas. I'll try to make your dream come true. Let's see. Memory serves as a Chimera wing right down here. Have fun. Alright, you. <laughs> one imp is just like, oh, this is great. The other one has lighting a giant kefrizzle. Uh, dear Rocket, thanks for saving me. Sincerely, Dummy. P.S. Here's a little something to say thank you. Ooh, an Iron Arrow recipe. I think we already got one of those. Also, that is a very unfortunate name. What parent named their kid Dummy? Well, let's create a warp point. 